I am genuinely excited to share this tool with you and I promise by the end of this video you will agree with me. In this video we are going to install this tool OpenLit on our local system and then we will monitor our LLM usage with it. And in the future I am also going to integrate this OpenLit in lot of my videos because I am very very heavily involved in monitoring this LLM so you can imagine that how important this tool would be. Before I install it let me give you a quick overview as what exactly this tool is. In OpenLit, LIT stands for Learning and Inference Tool which is a visual and interactive tool designed for understanding AI models and visualizing data. And the term LIT was introduced by Google. OpenLit is an open telemetry native tool designed to help developers and users to gain insights into the performance of their LLM applications in production. It automatically collects LLM input and output metadata and monitors GPU performance for self-hosted LLMs. In order to better understand it, have a look at this diagram. On the left hand side, we have various LLM providers, whether they are API based or free like OpenAI, Anthropic, Mistral or Olama. And then we have some GPU providers, we have some vector database providers like vv8 and lot of others and then we have frameworks like llama index or lang chain and embed chain and so on and so forth so what openlit does is it collects the telemetry or observability or matrices and traces from all of these sources and then either it send it to your observability tool of choice or to its own ui in this video we are going to integrate this OpenLit after local installation with a local Olama and then we are going to check out all the matrices in the UI of OpenLit. You can also send it to your own enterprise level tool like Datadog, New Relic and then there are heaps of other open source like Grafana, Prometheus and that sort of stuff. You can even send it to some uh, memory cache database, elastic cache or wherever you like. So the possibilities are endless. So if you're running a production grade enterprise level AI powered application which uses LLMs, now you have the option of implementing this observability tool which is going to collect a lot of matrices and traces and then it is going to send it to either to its own user interface or to a third party tool. Okay, so enough talk. Let's go and check it out. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Also, as I said that I will be installing this OpenLit locally and I will be integrating it with Olama. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest and fastest and most performant tool to run and download these LLMs locally. I have done heaps of videos where I have shown you how to install Olama and how to use the models. It's very, very easy. So I am already hoping that you have Olama installed and then we will go and install the open lid first and then we'll go from there. So let me take you to my local VM in the terminal because that is the best way to get this thing installed. This is my local VM where I'm running 1222.04 and then I have this GPU card which I was referring to NVIDIA RTX A6000. If you're using any API based LLM, you don't need that much GPU. In fact, you don't need any GPU for that. Okay, so let's clear the screen and now let's me create a conda environment which will keep everything simple and separate and i'm calling it lit so let's wait for it to get installed and it is also going to activate that environment that is all done lit is also activated let's install some of the prerequisites which include torch and transformers that is going to take a minute so let's wait for it to get installed both the torch and transformers are done let me clear the screen let me quickly check if I already have 
the github repo i don't so let me clone that repo open it let's wait for it to finish that is done let's cd to it and let me clear the screen and now we are going to install the sort of backend of this which is installed by docker compose so make sure that you have docker installed i have this version of docker installed if you don't know how to install the docker please search the channel i already have done a video around it and in order to install it all you need to do is to uh, run this command docker compose up and it is going to create all the containers locally and then you can see that it, it has already downloaded and created them now next up let's install the openlit package and also the olama and that is going to be installed very quickly they are very lightweight packages both of them and don't worry about the commands i'm going to put all of these commands in my blog and then you can just copy paste and run them from there and i'll drop the link in video's description so both are done let me clear the screen now just to show you that i already have olama installed as you can see olama is running and i already have this llama 3 and py3 models present on my system okay that is cool now let me show you that how you can use this open lit it's already running and let me first show you how you can embed it in your application so first let's import olama and import this prompt and you can just i'm just sort of demonstrating now how would you use open lit in your application so let's suppose you have this olama based application i have imported the olama package i have defined my um, prompt and then before you make an api call with your model first you need to import the openlet like this and then you need to initialize the openlet so here i'm just pointing it to this open telemetry endpoint 4318 and then i am also disabling the tracing i don't want my sensitive information to go into the traces and it has now initialized now before i make an api call like this to a model so where i am just using olama.generate and i'm calling local llama3 model with my prompt so once i hit enter it is going to send tele telemetry to this openlet so before i do that let me take you to the browser and i will show you before running this as how it looks like so at this point if you go to your local browser and as i have opened the local host at port 3000 you will see a screen login screen of openlit like this here they have provided a default user which is user at openlit.io just type it here and then um, the password is openlit user it's a default password you can change it once you are done and then look at how beautiful the graphics are so it is telling you telemetry or observability matrices around how many total requests have been made average request duration average tokens per request total cost and then average cost per request also if you don't like the dark theme then on the top right click on the sun icon and then you can go with this um, light theme but i prefer the darker themes also if you want to change the password just click on this icon on the top right and edit details and you can change your password too so i'm just not going to change it for now i'm just going to click on this icon here at the top left that is done now let's go back to our terminal and then there i will make an api call to the model and then we will check back and refresh it so let me press enter here let's wait for it to finish it is just generating a response from llm let's wait for it because first time it loads the model onto our gpu that is why it is taking a bit of our time and that is done let's go back to our tool let me refresh it there you go so you see one request it took around 15 seconds and then this many tokens it used because it's free it's local no cost at all and then again average cost is also low and there you also have a graph here very very finely written graph so this is how good this is and then you can go back in time you can go with the seven days 
one month three months and or you could just give it a date range with a custom selection here so and there are a lot of other options too you can use your own you know custom database you can uh, there is some option around open ground and then you can even check out the request and all that stuff and a lot of other information which is out of the scope of this video and then you have just some of the settings but i'm not going to you know if you want to uh, use multiple databases vector databases you can do that here but anyway you can see that if you want to do the instrumentation in your application which is llm powered ai powered this tool is amazing just reminds me of grafana by the way but anyway so as many requests you can make and as i mentioned earlier not only you can use it with olama but you can use it with open ai and a lot of other stuff and i will be making more videos where i will show you how can you use it with open ai and other providers so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching